everyone, it's Ranger Alley. Welcome to our March broadcast. Right now I am standing at the Front Royal entrance and mo most of you who have been here before know that this is the first thing that you see when you arrive at Shenandoah National Park. And we wanted to take you on a tour of the North District and most importantly, Dickey Ridge Visitor Center, which is just four and a half miles up the road. We're really excited to talk to the Rangers to see what they have in store for the upcoming spring season as things begin to open again. If you all have any questions or comments at all, leave those in the comment section and we are going to be answering those throughout the broadcast. Let's go! Hello! Hi Mindy, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing great! We Welcome. are going up here to talk to some of the rangers at Dickey Ridge Visitor Center. Uh -huh. uh, but we're really glad to see you. Yes. Uh, it's the entrance station. What do you have for us? Well, we have a Unigrid and the winter brochure, which is going to turn into spring brochure soon. I know, we're so excited. <laughs> awesome. So you get both of these when you come to uh, any of the entrance stations at the park. So they're going to hand those to you. And uh, yeah, I think we got it. We know where we're going, so. Okay, you have a great time. <laughs> you too. See you later. What's up guys? We are here at Dickey Ridge Visitor Center just as we promised and we ran into Ranger Lavender and she is the one that runs this show here and we're really excited. We already uh, teased that the spring season is coming and so what news do you have for us? On Friday, March 8th, Dickey Ridge Visitor Center will open for the 2024 season. We're standing right in front of the visitor now. It's not currently open to the public but we're going to give you a bit of a sneak peek. In this area, there's so much to do. Right here at Dickey Ridge, there are year-round restrooms, and just 100 yards that way, there's a wonderful picnic area that's a great place to have lunch. That might be open year-round, but only some of the time is the visitor center open, and we are so excited to finally be opening it this year. So this is really exciting that we get to open a visitor center that's in the North District so soon. We're actually opening up a, a, a week earlier than we had planned, just because we can't wait to see you. Uh, it's going to look a little bit different inside, but we think that that's part of the fun because you'll see how it is today and then in a few weeks when we open, we're going to come back up here and show you all the work that has been done and how it's ready to have the doors open to you. So we're going to follow her in and I'm going to take the camera from Neil and we're going to do like a welcome to my crib style kind of uh, interview. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go do it. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. All right, so we're following you in the front doors of the visitor center. So as you can see, we still have some signs up that say closed, but you get to come in for a sneak peek. Sweet. One of the exciting things about being part of a seasonal visitor center is I really get to witness the teamwork that's involved in opening a facility like this. Every spring, our maintenance crews come in and help us get the building ready by turning on propane and water and waxing the floors and cleaning the windows. And they've already done all of that work for us and now we just have some finishing touches to do. Now that you're inside, you will notice we aren't quite open yet. We still have some work to do, so it's a work in progress. Once we do open, this is a place that I I hope you will come in to help explore ways to make the most of your visit. You can meet park rangers and volunteers and our uh, bookstore staff to help you make the most of your visit. Here today I have Ranger Hannah who will be joining us this spring. Well what? hi there. Um, here at the front desk you can do a variety of different things. You can ask about a hike just for you or for the whole family. You can find out some more information, whether that's being about our animals here in the park, our history, or even where to find lunch. 
And of course, you can always find a helpful volunteer or ranger to aid in whatever you may need. So Hannah, what is the closest hike to the visitor center? Well, that is actually an easy one. There is Fox Hollow right behind me here. It is a short little loop that takes you through a cemetery here in Shenandoah. Sweet, where is that on a map? Can you point to it? Of course, that is by mile marker five right here. And across from Fox Hollow, you can see the visitor center, Dickey Ridge. So as you can see, we're still in the process of moving some furniture for you so that you have a place to come in, sit down, feel welcome, and join us in a conversation about the park. <laughs> wow, guys, thank you for making us feel at home. <laughs> and just this way, we have our exhibits. So you can come into the visitor center, sit by a fireplace. You can also come in here and explore what makes Shenandoah special. I love this map, especially because you can see all 105 miles of Skyline Drive light up. It's so cool. And you can see this is us right here at Dickey Ridge uh, near the Front Royal Entrance Station to the north. Yeah, we were just there, you guys. Nice. So, wow, there's so much to read on these walls. <laughs> good stuff to read, good stuff to touch. This is a hands-on exhibit, so there's things to do and explore in here, and we hope you'll come in here and have fun in the yeah. exhibits. Yeah. If you can hear it, I don't know that you can, but there are bird noises and I think bees that I'm hearing. Yeah, they're not real bees. <laughs> it's super immersive though. That's really yes. cool. What and then right there? through here is our assembly room. We usually use it as a theater. So when we're open, we show our park film every day. And then sometimes we'll also have uh, special guest speakers and special programs during events held in this room. So you can also sometimes join us here for programs as well. Nice. All right, what's on the other side of the building? All right, so I was talking earlier about our friends that help us open the building. And another really important friend that we have is our park partner, the Shenandoah National Park Association. And they run our park store. Oh, something I forgot to ask. When was this building built? So this building was built in the 1930s as a day lodge. This is where you could get a snack, breakfast, or lunch. Um, and you could also spend some time on the patio. And right through here, I'm gonna show you the, the park store. It's a little dark, still under construction, and the shelves are empty. Whoa, I've never seen it like this before. There's usually so much stuff. <laughs> yeah, you'll just have to come back and see what uh, all the cool stuff that we'll have in here. But in here is gonna be our park store staff. They're gonna help um, sell you some very important educational souvenirs, as well as those maps and guides that help you make the most of your visit. Nice. Wow, hopefully he'll have a shirt on. What's your favorite part about this visitor center? Hmm, I would say probably the um, strong use of wormy chestnut. So um, follow me here, I'll, I'll give you an example. So all of these walls here are built out of wormy chestnut. Chestnut, uh, the American chestnut tree suffered from the um, chestnut blight and it is a tree that still exists in the wild but never really gets past um, you know, basically it's teenage years. It won't grow into a big adult uh, old growth tree anymore. And um, as the trees fell down, they are slow to rot. And so various insects and things would burrow into the wood. Um, all of that dead and downed wormy or chestnut became wormy chestnut over the years and was used to build a variety of, of what is now historic um, buildings in the park. And this is one of them. So I welcome you to come in here and feel a little bit of history right here on our walls. Um, these these boards would be trees that were hundreds of years old. Yeah, and one of the things we get a lot here at Dickey Ridge because we're so close to the north uh, entrance is just how should I spend my time? And that's one of our favorite questions to answer here. So we have lots of great maps and things that we use to help orient you to the park. And then based off of what you're interested in, we wanna help you build the best time of your life. So we might direct you to various campgrounds and um, you know lodges and gift shops Shops, overlooks and hikes all based off of what what you want to do while you're here in the park so every day that Dickey Ridge Visitor Center is open at 11 a.m. you can join us for a ranger program let's go find one more one more of my ranger friends hi ranger Emily hi visitors like you can join us for a ranger talk and learn all about Shenandoah National Park topics range from bears to geology, to history, or to my favorite, 
trees. <laughs> Doing ranger programs is my favorite part about being a ranger, so I can't wait for you all to join me here. Thank you, Emily. I'm excited for your season. This will be your first in Shenandoah, right? Yes, it is. Woohoo! <laughs> You know, come summer season, we have a variety of programs, evening programs, junior ranger programs, so much fun stuff. But we try to do at least one ranger program every day that we're open. So I hope that you will join us. And don't worry, if it happens to snow or rain on that day, we'll have the ranger program inside. So we will do it every day that you come and join us. Oh, thank goodness, because we are a little chilly right now. Yeah. <laughs> the ranger program might be inside today. Yeah. So you're totally bearing the lead here. That view behind you is spectacular. Yeah, so one of my favorite things to do in Shenandoah is simply stop and enjoy the view. You can do it at more than 70 overlooks along Skyline Drive, but really this is one of the best views in the park. It's just over four miles from inside the entrance station. There's ample parking and it happens to be one of the best sunsets. In the spring, when we close this visitor center at 5 p.m., the sunset has started, so we actually get to share the sunset view with you. Please bring your picnic air, uh, blankets, you know, bring your snacks, your friends, sit down on a bench, stop, enjoy this view, watch the clouds move, and really make this experience part of your day. Thank you guys for joining us for our March broadcast. Remember, if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments. We're gonna be happy to answer them. Remember on March 8th, Dickey Ridge Visitor Center, which you just got the grand tour of, will open. And we're gonna take some videos and pictures of when it is open to the public, what it looks like when it goes through its transformation for the opening season. Uh, we're going to see you all again in April when even more events and more facilities are open and we're so excited to show those with you and we just want to remind you to take in the little moments, even the ones with the biggest and best views, like this one. Can I, can I leave you on still? Just do all one thing?